Hi, I'm Yuka Sato. Today, we're in Tokyo's Minato Ward. This is the Japan Meteorological Agency, which is an arm of the government responsible for monitoring various natural phenomena, including the weather, earthquakes, and tsunami. And inside, they also have a weather science museum, which we'll be taking a look at this time. Right now, I'm at the Meteorological Science Museum in Tokyo's Minato Ward. And with us is the facility's Aoi Sato. Hello, nice to meet you. Let me show you around. What kind of facility is this? This facility was built to get more people to know about what the Meteorological Agency does and learn about disaster prevention and the natural sciences. I see all kinds of displays. Yes, we want visitors to experience and learn about this field. The Meteorological Science Museum was reopened in April of last year after the agency was relocated to the current building and the facility has added a range of new equipment. There are currently more than 10 types of displays. Please have a seat. Have you heard of the earthquake early warning system? Sure, I've seen it flashing up in the news. First, she shows us a display that introduces the earthquake early warning notification system. In earthquake-prone Japan, a system has been adopted for the meteorological agency to detect and analyze tremors and issue warnings through various media, such as television, radio, and mobile phones. This explains how the system works. Earthquakes have two types of seismic waves. The primary wave indicates rapid but weak tremors. The secondary wave indicates slow but strong tremors. When it depicts primary waves, the agency analyzes the data and issues a warning. That's followed by the secondary wave and the actual earthquake occurs. The earthquakes that we notify people about have an intensity of up to lower five and we issue warnings to people living in areas where the intensity is four or higher. The alert you get on your smartphone means a relatively strong earthquake is coming and to be prepared. At this section, visitors answer questions and learn about what to do when an earthquake warning is issued. What's this? This is the observation equipment zone. And we have several machines in operation here. I see all kinds. This is called an aspirated psychrometer. And it measures temperature and humidity. The amount of water vapors in the air is very useful in predicting if it's about to rain. Measuring humidity is very important, and we're deploying more equipment like this. This looks curious. What is it? This is a radio sonde, a meteorological observation device. It collects data from the air 30 kilometers above the Earth's surface. A machine is connected to the balloon to collect information on atmospheric temperature, wind direction, and wind speed. All kinds of information then. Yes. And these balloons are floated up in various places around the world at the same time. There is various other observation equipment such as a precipitation detector, which monitors initial rainfall, a rain gauge, an anemoscope, and an anemometer. The observation equipment you see here is deployed in 1,300 locations across Japan. It's a system that allows us to automatically and instantly collect meteorological information and is what we call AMEDAS. It's how you get your regional weather and typhoon forecasts. 